So I thought it was time for me to I'm gonna catch up on some films that I've missed in the past couple of weeks. I'm uh, that being Onward, I'm at the Way Back, and The Invisible Man, which I did see all these films and I thought they were all fine. And I okay here I'm gonna give you a rundown of how I feel about all these films. So starting off with the I'm uh, oldest one out of the bunch is The Invisible Man. This came out I'm uh, in February February 28th I'm uh, of last month and I know it's pretty good. <laughs> it was definitely a good movie I thought. Elizabeth Moss's performance in it was definitely very, very good. Um, uh, and the film as a whole, it was very suspenseful. It definitely had me on the edge of my seat. And I don't know, it was just, it was a really good horror film. And I wasn't expecting that. Because like 2019, we haven't really had a lot of good horror films up until this point. But this one was actually really, really good. And I did really enjoy it. And The Invisible Man as a whole, he was a very creepy antagonist. And he was just like... I don't know, it was just kind of chilling, like, whenever he was around. It was like, you never knew if he was there or if he wasn't. And I thought that was really intriguing. I thought that was what an Invisible Man movie would need, because that is what it's about. But, yeah, I mean, plus I was happy that uh, Blumhouse produced this film, because if any of your, any of your like, major studio um, produced this film, it would be, like, really high-budgeted and, like, huge and stuff. Blumhouse made this one small for, like, what, $7 seven something like that. Um, dollars, and I, I really appreciate that. Also, Blumhouse's films, they're kind of hit, hit or miss with me, but I did really enjoy this one, and I will give The Invisible Man an A-. minus. Only problems with it was maybe the ending, it went on for a little bit too long, but yeah. So next up is The Way Back. Now, The Way, at, the Way Back stars Ben Affleck. It's a sports movie about um, this coach who's kind of a drunken coach who um, uh, loses his way and stuff and goes to coach his basketball team who doesn't, who isn't really doing too well. But, and then um, they eventually win games and stuff, and he makes the team better as a whole, and he becomes a better person as a whole. That's basically what you would think this movie would be, um, if I'm looking at the trailers they've been posting on YouTube lately, but this movie is actually very well made. I honestly think it is. It definitely has a lot of good things in it. But Netflix's performance is really good, like it's the best he's been in years. And um, the team aspect isn't great, because they don't give a lot of um, attention to some of the other um, uh, players, they mostly just give more or less character traits. But I did really enjoy the dynamic they all had. And again, Ben Affleck's performance, it was awesome. But yeah, this movie, plus I really like sports movies. They don't like these really empowering sports movies. That's kind of like a hard premise to get wrong, in my, in my opinion. Sometimes people do, but this time they didn't. And at the end of this movie, they, you think it's going one way, but it goes another. And it's really, really cool. Because they actually, they give time to these characters and stuff. And it was just, it, was, it surprised me. The end of this movie really did. And I honestly, this movie is kind of, it's sort of a feel-good film, sort of not, it just depends. But yeah, so I did really enjoy this film, and I don't really love it, but it's not like my favorite sports film ever, that goes to Rocky. But this movie is definitely very good, and I would give The Way Back um, a B+. Now on to the, the biggest, probably, film that came out last weekend, Onward. This is the newest Pixar film starring Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, uh, it definitely had a, it didn't have, like, it's definitely not Pixar's best, in my opinion. But it's not their worst either. It's not like a Cars or anything. I know a lot of people love Cars. I don't. But, um, uh, I definitely, it's definitely really good. And Chris Pratt's performance in it and Tom Holland's was definitely great. And the premise of this movie is, like, a made premise to make you cry. Where they have to bring back their dad, where their dad dies. They, um, uh, Tom Holland's never met their dad. Um, uh, and so they bring him, they, so he leaves him this spell to bring him back. And he, they only bring back half of him. And it's about a movie about, like, bonding with him. It's kind of like a Weekend of Bernie's thing where it only have, like, kind of a that thing going with him. But, yeah, it's a really cool premise. And going out throughout this magical world, what's that Zootopia? Did I'm a that different world thing better, in my opinion? But this one also does really good, I think. Um, uh, but, yeah, it also pays a lot of tribute to the games like Dungeons & Dragons, which that was really cool because I played a lot of that in middle school. But, yeah, this movie, I don't know, it, it's not bad, I don't think. A lot of people are saying, like, it's not really that good, it's not great. I think it's pretty good. It's definitely not their best, but it's not their worst by far. Like, your dinosaur and Cars 2 and stuff like that. Like, that's the bottom of the barrel. This one, to me, is more on par with, like, their more middle-of-the-road films. But, yeah. So, well, with all that said, I really enjoyed Onward. Now we give Onward a B. Now, that was all the films that I missed from the past couple of weeks. And I think that if I miss a lot of films in a row, I'll just do these bunched-up videos from now on. Unless it's, like, a huge film, like, maybe Black Widow. Or I'm um, a uh, Wonder Woman 84 where I can do like an individual video on it. But yeah, so I'm um, uh, tell me in the comments below what you thought of all these films and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.